All right, guys, so gonna bring you a special video today. I actually have been talking about in some of the live streams that I'm looking for a backup truck for my other business, for my dumpster rental business, as well as potentially using for RV transport for maybe shorter runs uh, that I don't need a bed uh, to be able to sleep in the back seat. So I've actually found a F350-95 uh, with the 7.3 engine. And so I am pretty pumped about that. Uh, definitely found one in my price range. The biggest thing has been their rust buckets and need a whole lot of attention. But this particular one at this price uh, kind of fits all the parameters that I'm looking for. So we will go ahead and see how it turns out. I'm going to bring you along for the ride. Hopefully, uh, if the seller is willing to uh, let me record a little bit, we'll go ahead and see how it, how it goes and uh, let you see the new truck. folks so here is the truck uh it is a let's see the marking on here it is a 1996 f450 two-wheel drive it has a plow has just a hair over 250,000 miles uh, it does have the 7.3 engine on it the transmission is a year old there are several parts uh, calipers rotors already been done a few of sensors have been replaced three decent tires it is a dually so three more tires need to be replaced in the near future uh, it is the 16 inch rims the dually like i said and it has this monstrous plow so this is an eight foot wide plow uh, it is ridiculous evidently it does work it will plow it hasn't been used in a couple years so probably fluid needs to be changed out they have this uh, kind of custom built, kind of a toolbox built uh, for this to hold things. Uh, hasn't been used in some time. Uh, it does have the two different fuel tanks. So one fuel cap, second fuel cap for the two different fuel tanks. Basically, this is a absolute monster uh, to be able to pull. Obviously, the seven pin down there, the hitch to be able to get things hold behind so for the dump trailer business as well as my potentially rv transport uh, being able to maybe do this with probably uh, shorter loads maybe a day trip or, or less even loads it's kind of the the angle i'm kind of going for uh, it does have the tie down rings here uh, probably replace these but uh, this can be used for for several different things for for my purposes across the board and uh, essentially this is kind of my insurance for for my ram going down obviously if you've seen some of the more recent videos that has been a thing that's been a problem with with everything that's happened recently with my truck having all these miles on my truck this is just my insurance policy you know this is uh this truck 250,000 miles on a 7.3 
Uh, there's no major problems. There's just some small little things. It needs an AC compressor, which if you watched my channel recently, you know I know how to replace an AC compressor. I think there's a cam sensor that needs to re be replaced, and I already have that uh, sensor. Everything else is pretty clean. Steering box has been replaced. Uh, it's got obviously the plow, the plow mount. In front here, it's got the uh, the heater uh, plug here. Everything works for the plow, uh, is my understanding. And uh, basically, it is just a, a work truck uh, that's going to be able to, to haul dump trailers. It does apparently already have the potential, obviously, through these boards to be able to have a gooseneck. Uh, it's already underneath, underneath here. You can kind of see it. Uh, where it's actually down well over there uh, So I just need to go through the wood to be able to have that set up. So that is kind of the kind of the deal here So very very happy with this. Uh, it does. I wasn't sure on the year, but it does actually have the OBD 2 port uh, ability to be able to scan and check things with the what CPM I guess uh, to be able to See if there's any codes and things so uh, there was no check engine lights no real issues started right up uh, just a, a tank a fuel tank issue sensor potential issue the ac issue those are just minor things for a truck that i believe is going to do me very well uh, a lot of work's already been put into it new transmission like i said uh, it is a 1996 uh, so three years younger than i am uh, so it's it's definitely got some some uh, some bangs some bruises in here just want to take you in here and show you it's pretty clean honestly for for an old truck like this uh gauges work everything's fairly clean this you know protective thing which i actually have on my ram uh which you can get i think i got it at geno's but uh clean little little cover here uh relatively clean in here so this has the two actually has two remotes for the plow to be able to do to do the plow the seat belt is not in the best shape so it's got a seat belt replacement in here and then the ac compressor is in here as well to be able to be replaced the radio does not work uh, and then this monstrous 2500 watt you know thing that's hooked up power inverter uh, that evidently was used for a landscaping crew a company and uh, i may or may not use that for power i i don't know if i actually need it for sure but uh, it's there if I, if I ever wanted to use it. And uh, again, this is a 450. So Mr. Fairwinds and following seas, uh, I have probably not, not beat, got you beat on the towing capacity, but I've got this 7.3, so nan nan boo boo. Basically guys, this is, you know, for my dumpster rental business, potentially for the RV transporting industry. Uh, if Synergy or somebody else would even be willing to, you know, you know actually uh, lease this truck on, who knows if they will probably not but anyways just got you know i'm just very happy with this whole uh this whole setup and uh, it'll be interesting to see what little modifications i can do to make it more customized for what i need for my purposes so anyways this is my new truck my new used truck obviously and uh, we'll see how it goes going down the road just at, at my leisure upgrading things fixing things uh, getting it to how i want it for my business uh, but also potentially for RV transport, so we shall see. So the seller was just incredible, shared so much information about the truck, all the good stuff, all the bad stuff, all the things that could be better, you know, all that stuff. Uh, just incredible people. Shout out to them. Just really appreciate them. They've got a landscaping company, and uh, they know how business is uh, and how things can go. So I'm going to go ahead and get this puppy home and uh, get it parked i'm running out of parking spaces at this point with trucks and trailers and all that but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here uh, leave them be and uh, drive this uh, new truck home so i will catch you guys later hopefully you have a great day today stay safe and god bless guys